a report from RBC is painting a bleak picture of just how unaffordable it is, even unattainable, to buy a home in Vancouver. Angela Jung is live with more on the findings. It is a tough pill to swallow, Angela, for so many people. Uh, and sadly, it's a trend that is expected to continue. Sad indeed, Sophie. We all know Metro Vancouver is pricey, and The Economist who put this report together tells us even with interest rates going down, he calls it small potatoes because it won't bring meaningful change. This is basically a uh, open plan, one bedroom uh, in Yale Town. Listed just under 600,000. Big open plan kitchen. This condo is considered a starter home. It is becoming more and more difficult with first time home buyers as prices rise here in Vancouver. RBC's housing trends report doesn't hold back, saying Vancouver is seeing full blown crisis levels. It's never been as expensive to own a home anytime, anywhere in Canada as it was in Vancouver in the fourth quarter. People we spoke to say they can't imagine owning a home right now. How long would I have to stay in Vancouver to eventually afford a very small place um, and you know what quality of life does that give me? If it continues on this trend obviously like there's only a very certain type of people that live here and it's not going to be young people that's for sure. <laughs> if I were looking I wouldn't be happy with a tiny closet one bed apartment. The reality check this so-called entry-level home with the minimum 5% down mortgage plus strata fee would be just under $4,000 a month to own. I'm seeing personally a lot of um, parents helping out with the down payment to meet that 20% threshold so that the payments are a little bit more palatable, a little bit more affordable for, uh, you know, the first time home buyers. In Canada, the share of income needed to have home ownership is just over 63%. In Vancouver, it is more than 106%, significantly higher than other major cities. The economist who penned the report says the data shows ordinary Vancouverites can't afford to own a home. Those in the middle of the income distribution under you know, making a 25 percent down payment and, and, and uh, with amortization over 25 years, it's just not possible for them. Angela, unaffordability in Vancouver is not particularly new, but clearly it's getting worse. What is the province doing to address this crisis? Housing Minister Ravi Kalon says he recognizes how tough it is for British Columbians, adding that's why the province is adding housing and funding more affordable housing. He says this report highlights what we already know, Sophie. Well, let's see if it works. Thanks for that. Angela Jung reporting in Vancouver.